Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to try the Saffron Road. Um, grab a hold of it. This is the chicken vindaloo with uh, balsama, basmati, basmati, basmati rice. I don't know. Uh, it's tender dark meat chicken in a spicy curry of tamarind, ginger, and red pepper. It says now new with chick now with chicken. So evidently I didn't have chicken at one time. Um, Certified halal, humanely raised chickens, uh, all natural chickens raised without antibiotics. Okay, um, it is 310 or 330 calories. Sorry, most of the other stuff's not too awfully bad. So, let's see how you make this thing. Okay, you can do it in the oven if you want. Of course, I don't have an oven. Well, I do, but I'm like, this is like it works, so I'm gonna do it in microwave. They're gonna move a tray from carton. Uh, pierce film two to three times, I guess, to let it vent. Um, cook for three minutes, remove film, um, stir, and then cook for an additional two to three minutes and let it sit for a minute. So poke some holes, three minutes, stir, and then uh, probably another two and a half minutes with this microwave I've got at home. So let's see what it looks like. These were at Lucky Mar Lucky's Market for $4.99. So this is not a cheap meal, definitely. But $4.99, I guess, is not too bad. It didn't say what to stir, it just said to stir. Remove film, stir, turn dish, half turn, and cook on high. Mine, this microwave rotates, so it doesn't really matter. So I guess you just stir this and stir this separately, I guess. So I'm gonna poke some holes in this, um, get the microwave. It looks like there's quite a bit of stuff in there. There's definitely some rice in there, and I guess you just mix it together when you eat it. So yeah, I get to this microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and um, the rice um, is a little clumpy, but it'll break up, so it's not that big a deal. Um, it smells uh, almost sweet. You know, you would almost think it was spicy, but it almost it has a sweet smell to it. And a lot of the curry I've tried it has, does have a sweet smell. Not that I've tried tons of curry, but, but I have tried some. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit. It's supposed to set for a minute, so I'm going to let it do that, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. I'm going to try... I didn't even stir up the rice, so I should have. Um, I'm gonna try just a bite of the rice, just to see how the texture is and how, how well it's cooked, just plain rice. It's not bad, it's a little chewy. Um, I won't say rubbery, but it's a little chewy. Not bad by any means, but, but it is a little bit chewy. Um, without the rice, I'm sure that's how you try it. These, by the way, I was wondering what these were, these little squares. I don't know if they were tofu or what. Um, this has potatoes in it, so um, I'm sure that's a potato. So let me get a piece of chicken and a potato and plenty of sauce here. And they are very hot. That um, I was reading about that, that halal um, certified is a tradition that has nourished billions of people over the last 1,400 years, uh, promotes sacred, sacred practices of respect for the land, fair treatment for farmers, humane treatment of livestock, and wholesome food to eat. So that's what that that's what that means when it says it's certified. Or, um, yeah, halal certified. So anyway, just thought that was interesting. I didn't know what it was. That's what it is. Yeah, you can definitely taste the spices in there. I got a little of that pepper flavor. Um, it's not too spicy. It's a little spicy, but not too awfully bad. Let me try it with some rice. Um, I don't mind that flavor. The potatoes are very soft and squishy though, so just know that almost borderline mashed potato kind of softness. That's how soft they are. Let me try another bite. I like it with the rice because the rice kind of helps add a little bit more texture to it. This is kind of a, the chicken's uh, is very, very tender. So, um, there's a big hunk of chicken. I need to cut that up. But the, um, the chicken is very tender the uh, potatoes are super, super soft. So what you're left with is kind of a, kind of a squishy, mushy meal, kind of, if you don't eat it with the rice. The rice helps counteract that by adding a little bit of that, um, that chewiness to it. So I guess maybe that's on purpose that it's a little chewy. So, um, so yeah, if you eat the, if you eat the meat part with the rice, um, it balances out that texture a little bit and the flavor is kind of uh, smoothed out too. Not a bad meal at all. Uh, is it something I'd get all the time? Probably not. But the flavors are, are pretty good. They're, um, the the ginger, I can taste a little bit of the ginger. I don't know what um, tamarind tastes like, uh, really. 
maybe that's what I'm tasting that spice, that seasoning. But um, I've had something with that in there before. But who knows? I don't eat it all the time, so I don't know. Um, if you don't like that kind of spice, you probably want to avoid this. But this one's pretty good. I'm going to give it like a three and a half just because it's not something I would eat all the time. It is a little spicy, so if you don't like spicy food, you wouldn't want this necessarily. But if you can have a little spice, it's fine. It's not like burning my throat or anything. So, so yeah, I'm going to stick with a three and a half. Again, nothing wrong with the flavor. If you like um, Indian-inspired or Indian-type food, definitely try this out because I think you'd really like this. Um, me personally, I don't eat that kind of food all the time, so I'm not used to those spices. Um, so it throws me off a little bit. So... So three and a half definitely for me, but you might give it a five. Who knows? So I uh, hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.